introduce you to uh, two of our sponsored athletes, Kayla and Keegan Spence. <laughs> Probably don't need an introduction in our play, but um, thank you very, very much for coming in today and speaking to us. Um, you both had really successful years in athletics. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you, yes. Good. Yeah, fine, busy, yeah. busy day at work, but we're gotten here. <laughs> yeah. Straight into it, back to back. Never yeah. a moment's peace. No. <laughs> Good. Um, and so just to talk a bit about how your training and things have gone, how would you say your year's been? Yeah, it's been a, an interesting year. It's obviously been a, a more like more successful year with regards to COVID this year we've gotten into facilities and things which has been you know a huge help yeah and um, so you know what training's been going well and um, for me personally I would say I've probably had the best well I was probably in the best shape um that I've ever been in I would say in June time um so yeah Brilliant. training's been going fantastic for myself um I've been only coach you and now for five years I want to say. I joined when I went to university so um our yeah our relationship seems to be uh, clicking well oh, so brilliant. it's good but yes I would say I probably was in the best shape I was ever I've ever been in in June but unfortunately he was hit with but well, uh, illness in July. Okay. So um you know and um these things happen they do. Mm -hmm. So I yes I got PBs um in my hundred meters but it wasn't as fast as I was hoping for this year. Okay. Um, I can't complain uh, for you know the hurdles that have come my way. Um, you know. So was that after you had the illness? It was after yeah. I had my illness that I ran my um, personal best in Scotland for the hundred meters, and I suppose when I got my Scottish championships title too, it was very mixed emotions. Both events I was delighted with, but um, was aiming for more this year, mm. just with the shape I was in for um, after my you know winter training and things. Um, and I'd ran a sub-12 time here in Orkney, so I knew I was in that form to do so, but then, yeah, illness hacked, unfortunately. Yeah. But these things happen, but I suppose that keeps you motivated for, well, as I say, this winter, you know, you know that yeah. that's in your tank, and you just want to get that electronic time to prove it too, so, you know, it keeps you going. Always moving the yeah. goalposts, aren't you? Yeah. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> and how about you, Keegan? They... Yeah, it's been, as Taylor said, it's been a very interesting year with COVID and everything, um, but no, I've, well, I used to do 800 and 400 metres, so knew I'm um, just, well, this last, ever since COVID kind of started, I decided I'd just focus on the 400 and maybe 200 as well, depending okay. on how I'd get on with it. So, um, yeah, it's been, the past year, it's been focusing on uh, more sprinting and um, things like that and trying to just, yeah, keep going with that. So it's been different for me, but it's been... Yeah, it's with the competing. It's been such a good experience, and um, after such a long time, not getting yeah. away, and it's yeah, it's, yeah. Taylor said it's just I'm so grateful to be back competing, and mm -hmm. you feel like you, you well definitely during COVID you thought there's no way is this ever gonna come back. I know it's just dragged on. Are we doing it? this? Like are we are we mad here? Thank you for <laughs> training for nothing. But yeah. no, it's it's when you're training, it's you look back and you think it was all definitely worth it. Anyway. And did you both continue the same amount of training all of last year when even yeah. there wasn't the competition? Did you? Yeah. Did. And obviously the facility was shut and yeah. the track was shut, so that must yeah. have been challenging. It yeah. was definitely challenging. Um, I personally felt really motivated through lockdown. Um, I've seen it as a huge opportunity to... Um, well, we obviously couldn't get access to the track, but um, we were using the roads to run on, and mm -hmm. um, my uncle's garage I was actually using as a gym. Okay. Um, so oh, yeah. I, you know had a wee set up, um, so no, it just kept going. But I used that time to actually just strip everything back and focus on weaknesses that we don't usually get the time to work on because you, yeah. you have your winter training block and you go into competing and. Um, so me and my coach just used that time to really focus on things that I needed to work on. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it stopped on, like it went doing longer than we expected. But um, so yeah, by September, we were itching to get back on the track here. Yes. Um, but you know, it, it actually worked wonders, I would say, for me. And I think that's a huge reason why there's been a big improvement for me on the track this year. Because, Brilliant. you know, that's I did really manage to stay motivated and we worked on the weaknesses and things. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, it had its yeah, it had its benefits too that break um break from the complete union things too. But yes, it was hard to stay motivated. But mm -hmm. and as Tegan said, at some point we thought like, are we insane? You know, what, <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going. Just... But uh, no, it was good. And I think it, it also I think helps your sanity. Well, yeah, it's, 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 what kept, it's because... what kept me personally yeah. through the COVID. You know, it kept me going through COVID as, yeah. as well as like other. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, I was lucky to be home at the farm, you know, but and had the shed for using. I set up my own to reach out at home too, and it kept, you know, everything like that. I was so lucky to have, but um, it definitely the training itself kept you going through COVID. I think, mm -hmm. um, and being able, you know, not me being able to actually, well, as Tina said, her using her, um, well, her um, one of those yeah. <laughs> for, yeah. for, for uh, um, weights, and then uh, I used to do shed at home for weights as well. So, yeah, very lucky in that mm -hmm. sense. Um, yeah, thanks to be able to do that, yeah, and like that. others. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have a coach as well? Yes, um, I my coach is Mags McRae and Nigel oh, yeah. Thompson. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it's been it's been a lot. I've realised that I've I'm needing to now. I um, focus on recovery as much as the training right. itself. I mean, I do know it's such a. I've always known it's an important thing, but I think when for me, I get easily carried away with the training I do. I get really into it, and sometimes well, there's been a few times I've burnt myself out. Yeah. Um. So I'm just looking back now to to think of what's um what's necessary and what's not necessary um mm -hmm. throughout the week. Um, there's a chat. Yeah, I'll be training six days a week and three, two or three days twice a month, like mm. twice a day. So, yeah, it's just looking back and seeing how I can, for me personally, um, yeah, um, do everything that's just yeah, and finding that balance. Yeah, yeah. it's it's hard to explain, but yeah, it's just trying to yeah. find as you said, yeah, it's just trying to find the balance between recovery and training. You know, recovery is important, but yeah. it's sometimes easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Especially when you work, like, we're both do shifts, like, you know, uh -huh. teams in the care home and I'm the maternity yeah. ward. Um, you know, when you're trying to, you might have a day's off training, but you might be in, you know, work and, yeah. you know, and have a really busy shift or mm -hmm. get called in to work, you know, um, in my job we do on calls and things, you might be called in the middle of the night and, you know, that just sets yeah, your recovery yeah. back and, yeah, um, that's true, yeah. obviously going into the job, like, I was very much aware of that and, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just balance and balance and as you say, it's about yeah. the balance and um, listening to your body and, you yeah. know, if you're leading to, if you've got a planned session, that's a really, really hard session and, you know, had a crazy day at work, maybe been in there for 12 hours, you've got to think yeah. to yourself, you know, it's not mm -hmm. sensible, like, yeah. we either do something light or we miss this one, mm -hmm. you know, you've got yeah. to and it's hard to match that decision too, you know yeah. what I mean, it's, it's when you're your mind plays tricks and you're thinking, no, no, we need to train, yeah. train. <laughs> but no, it's definitely, you, you realise that, well, as you said once to me, it was like, it's like you're, like it's like you're trying to fuel a pet, like power yeah. up for mm -hmm. being able to recharge. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So absolutely, it's like, you just have to think it like that. Um, I know, and you're pushing though. your body really hard constantly. Yeah, so it needs that yeah. time to recover. Yeah, as well. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, just to make sure you're eating enough as well, and yeah, all of it. Can absolutely, be a, can be hard. I know it's trying to find the balance, not eat too much, but actually just make sure you're eating enough of the right things too. That's, yeah, that's, and sometimes actually when you're using training as hard as you two are probably need to eat more than the average person that's something that i really really like i've been eating so much this past year yeah. like my training being so different um because i've only been with max and nigel like for a couple of years now mm -hmm. so like really i've only been with them for one season with competing because of covid and the amount of training i was doing I, I, i've just never been like a uh, full up, like I've yeah. just like I've kept two down to sell up, so it's been a change too. But mm -hmm. no, it's a uh, yeah, it's obviously it's a very important thing, and it's something that I've um changed a lot, like realised how important with what you eat and mm -hmm. how it makes such a difference to your mm -hmm. training as well as competing. So yeah, absolutely, that was good. And so, what's your plans for the winter then? What do you guys have coming up for that? Um, just the usual winter training, um, battling against the wind and the rain. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, just kind of carry on as normal. It's 
it's not really a change in the amount we train, it's more a change in what kind of sessions we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, and then for me personally, I'm, you know, I'll have this proper winter training um, now and the aim for Miss Ellis to hopefully start indoor competing in December or January mm-hmm. and do the indoor season all being well, touch wood. And um, then, yes, then go on to compete in an outdoor season um, next year as well and hopefully be running fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and will you be going to the Island Games for that? I'm hoping so. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the plan that's anyway. Fun. I know it feels yeah. like we've not been on forever now. Yeah. Um, and it feels like it's still so far away, but um, yeah. that soon come and it will come yeah. around. Um, yeah. yeah, it's crazy to think the Orkney Island Games is meant to be 23 now. Yeah, um, I know. But no, it's, it keeps you going too, the yeah, Island Games. It's, yeah, it's always good fun. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're trying to get the medal anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good team spirit. And yeah. it's just... Yeah, a friendly but really competitive competition, and yeah. which is fantastic. It's like a mini Olympics, really. <laughs> yeah. it feels like it anyway. Well, and it's yeah. certainly a high caliber of athletic performance. That's amazing. Yeah, so there's yeah. such a range of athletes. Yeah. You know, you see athletes there that have maybe competed, you know, at Commonwealth Games, and yes. like I know um, the Guernsey, there's Cameron Jammers who's been at the Olympics this year, mm-hmm. and like you know, he's hoping to do Guernsey because it's a home games for him. Yeah. Yeah. and you know, it's mm-hmm. just like. It's insane yeah. the talent that you see, yeah. you know, and it's inspirational going there too, you Absolutely. know, to see yeah. who comes. So I think no, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I'm just the same with when winter training too. I, I just had my block. I started it slightly earlier than than everybody else who uh, uh, is in my group, um, my Mags and Nigel. So mm-hmm. I was lucky to be able to do that, and um, so that I can hopefully compete in December, January, just depending on when they'll announce. Um, competitions, yeah, I don't still competitions, yeah. Okay. So yeah, but no, definitely aiming to compete more next year than what we have this year. It's been short but sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. And with your training schedule, so you do some weights and stuff. How many weight sessions do you do in a week? Um, for me, I do two weight sessions, two um strength and conditioning, mm-hmm. and uh, three track sessions a week, mm-hmm. and then have that two important recovery days. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's kind of my training schedule, but you're just trying to figure out what oh, you're just doing. Out. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm uh, yeah, just trying to figure out what's um, best for me. Just now, um, after, even though I've enjoyed training so much this past year, um, and like this season too, it's been, yeah, very intense. And um, I'm looking back, I did, well, Monday, sorry, no, well, basically, three it'll be three weight sessions a week and mm-hmm. that days I'll be running as well so it'll be oh. up to like yeah six kind of runs as well but no I'm definitely thinking just we're competing wise because I would never there'll be times where I thought right I'm needing to rest today because I've burned mm-hmm. myself out too much but there'll be um times yeah with, with that but then with competing you need to realize the balance with how to transfer transfer the yes. training into competing um, yeah, right. mm-hmm. but yeah just finding that balance yeah and um, so yeah I'm just still trying to figure that out and um, yeah. with the help of them um, well obviously my coach and um, yeah just yeah yeah oh it's a lot of learning as well I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah definitely you learn so much um, yeah the you know as the years go on like um, before I went to university, I was very much in the mindset as like you train every day, yeah. or you don't get better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, going to Aberdeen, um, my coach Ewan was really drilled into me like recovery is so important. Mm-hmm. Like and mm-hmm. you know about what you're eating too. You know, you've got to fuel your body before you come to training and yeah. afterwards, yeah. make sure you're recovering properly. And you know, it's hard because you know uh, if you're naturally a person that wants to work, you know you want yeah. to do I everything think, you can. I think to we're both get like, there. We've been. That's yeah. We've been drilled into our feet system in a PD that just keep keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. yeah. So you and said yeah. My coach usually says to me, it's not a case of telling you right. You know, come on, you need to come to training. It's like okay, maybe you need to have a rest. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah. he very much taught me, and as I say, that's what I've learned. And uh, over the years, I've learned you know to listen to my body and say no, mm-hmm. we need to take a break. Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. You just you know you you get to know, you yeah. know what's sensible and what's yeah. not. But yeah, every. And it's the same when you're speaking line on games, you know, um, every game that you go to, you learn more and more. Yeah, you know, and that, that competition, um, competitions, competitions, yeah. yeah. 
Um, it's all a learning experience. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, that's the like to say, learn for older than me. Like uh, Alice, we, uh-huh. we were in the relay team with. Like, yeah. you know, you learn from everybody who's experienced. You know, yeah, a four year and a year. It's no, it's what makes it so exciting. To yeah, process. there's always stuff to learn. You, a lot of times. People think I was just running, but there's so much more. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, like there's so much technical yeah. stuff that even my head, like, you know, yeah. you and I'll tell me what I'm meant to be doing, and he'll explain to me why you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much behind it all. Um, mm-hmm. As I say, it's more than just, yeah, go out and run. Yeah, there's more to it than that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have either of you had to deal with injury in the past that has kind of. Kept you out well, for a I've, period? I've or? been very lucky, but saying that, I grew up, as folk can, as folk who know me, I grew up like in, like in such a short time. So when I did, I had such bother with my shins and okay. knees. Like, well, when I was very young, I'd also slatter's disease and then shin splints going up. And it's kind of, yeah, it stopped kind of when I was about 15, 16. Um, but yeah, ever since, I've luckily touched wood, I've no. I've not had serious injuries, like, well, for <laughs> child. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, so other folk, but, yeah. you know, it just, yeah. it's what kind of, it's something, too, that it's challenging, but when you get through it, it's worth it. Yeah, it's really challenging when you're hit with an injury. So um, what have you I've had with? various tears in different muscles. Okay. Um, before Gibraltar, um, I was out in Portugal war weather training and I tore my quad. Oh, and um, yeah, I was devastated. And um, <clears throat> was that April? I think that was April. Start right at the start of April, just as I was about to start competing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that set me back a bit. But then, thankfully, yes, um, managed with that um, the help of various um, various people: Caroline um, McPhail, um, Jack Rendell, um, Graham Scott. You know, I had loads of people yeah. helping me out. Yeah. Um, not just for that injury, loads of injuries. Yeah. Um, yeah. They. Yeah, can't thank them enough. They're always there helping me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've just got to be sensible, I suppose, mm-hmm. and listen to the advice you're given, follow it, and just know you'll be back. You'll be yeah, back and yeah. you'll be better. Yeah. But it's hard. Like, it's so hard. And, you know, if you feel like training's going well and you're hit with a niggle, it's, mm-hmm. it's really good. And What's so the longest you've been out training for with an injury? Um, probably just a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, but... That's but when you say out with training, like maybe resting, like total uh-huh. resting, right. but then rehab, like you know your rehab's longer, so you're yeah. not actually back training how you usually are. So yeah. it just yeah. varies. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I would say, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say I've had you know, well, God, it's not safe to say it, but you know, <laughs> yeah. um, I've had yeah tears and things, um, but nothing mm-hmm. that's you know been months too long or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just muscle niggles, but you're gonna get that with sprinting because you know you're uh-huh. just, you know it's hundred percent. That's what something I've realised. Yes. Sprinting it takes far more mm-hmm. injury than what you realise. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you're just coming from power. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But no, as Taylor said, um, um, the chat Randall and um, Graham Scott. That's the same who I yeah. I go to with anything that's I'm feeling mm-hmm. sore or anything because I get a lot of trouble with me like alignment in my back and yeah. just things like yeah. that so uh, we're growing especially so right um, mm-hmm. thanks to them they kept us sticking over yeah brilliant <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah i know really I, good. oh i do more long distance running much less so at a lower level than <laughs> yeah. you two but uh yeah i've been dealing with my own injuries this year which isn't fun no, you know it's no. and the injury but, i think it's just and i mean i'm not even had an injury but by the looks of it it's just yeah, it's, no, it's hard, but you've just got to think, you know, you'll be back and yeah. you'll be stronger. And, yeah. um, even though it's gotten at the time, you've just got to, look, you know, focus, you know, move your motivation from, you know, you're competing to, mm-hmm. right, we've got to get yourself better. And yeah. mm-hmm. It is hard, but um, it's just part of what I do. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. again, you learn. The more injuries you have, the more you learn from them. Yeah. Um, definitely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would yeah. say so. And do you both aside from the track do you use PT facilities much? You in the gym here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before COVID, I was I always used to pick a gym here. Um, and you know, some winters, if you know, the tracks iced over, yeah, 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 yeah. Over a few weeks. <laughs> or, yeah. yeah, or yeah, 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 or a bike or whatever. But no, usually, um, yeah, obviously.
obviously only chat here, Norty's here, so yeah. it's great to have the chat mm-hmm. here. Um, it's brilliant. Um, so I, I use it, um, yeah, using it all the time. Uh, but since COVID hit, I actually yeah I've been using that garage uh, as I say in my gra- uh, my uncle's garage mm-hmm. um and I've stayed there for a little while just with COVID and things more so for the safety of my job because yeah, um, yeah just being cautious just being cautious because I know that's just me that's there um and I'm obviously you know caring for people in the hospital so it's just yeah. that little bit of protection for them as well yeah. um, you know because you um, have your own space yeah mm-hmm. um. But yes, no brilliant facilities here, and mm-hmm. um, we're very grateful to have oh. the sponsorship. You know, it's a huge um, help and yeah. a big part of how we've, you know, yeah. got our medals. Yeah, yeah. Things yeah. Too, so. yeah. 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 No, that's great. Yeah, no, yeah. I, as I said, I had to be in pre gym at home, but then I, as well, when COVID started and some folk were kind of going to do, I actually um, got offered to go to uh, this. PD gym in Padre, near Padre, and okay. it's called, um, well, it's a wee gym that uh, quite a few folk go to, um, but you can go at any time of the day, like, as in any time of the day, like, 24 hours, so it's um, been a huge help with, as Kayla says, mm-hmm. like, with shifts and things, and um, making sure I can go, and I actually feel, you know, up for it, and yeah. my body feels up for mm-hmm. it, so, um, yeah, it's been, I've been using it still, um, but no, definitely, I always feel like I can use the like, facilities, like, even the swimming pool. It's I was going to say, it's opened up today, hasn't it? Like, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's opened up just yeah. today. It's, um, I'm really keen to get back in the yeah. No, it's good. I mean, the booking yeah. side is obviously what needed to be done. And, and, yeah. and some some you know some people like it because once you book on, you make sure you go. You can't just yeah. decide you're not going to go. Yeah. But no, as of today, it's just kind of turned up. Yeah, um, yeah. Just, yeah, pool's fantastic for oh, covering yeah. things. And again, like if you've got injuries, sometimes you have to revert to the pool. And yeah, I've, I've, I've been doing I've been sea swimming. I'm oh, like, yeah. I am not a good swimmer. So, like, you know, that's like... I'm too scared of the cold water, so I'm stuck in the pool. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. And like the sauna and things, things too for recovery mm-hmm. is brilliant. Like, I love that, especially in the winter. I know if you're training yeah. in a cold night and then you come in and... Yeah, it's brilliant. Hopefully, it won't be too much on for that. I know, I know. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So it's just complicating. Yeah. But no, I, I just end up going in the towel. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> going in the sea. No, yeah. I just, if, if you just enjoy it. Like, yeah. if some folk either enjoy it or they just hate it. It's, it's become good. really popular. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh definitely. Yeah. yeah. When it's at this time of year, though, at this, oh, yeah. yeah. It's not the same as <laughs> in the no. summer. No. <laughs> Will you continue that through the winter? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try again. I did last winter, yeah. so yeah. Nice. But no, it's, yeah, you need to kind of make sure you're away, away someday. Because, you know, you just don't know what's, yeah. what could happen. Yeah, you don't right. have for anything. So, mm, okay. yeah, especially in this cold weather, cold weather. But, oh, I like see. Yeah, but no, it's good fun. Yeah, mm. it definitely helps. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And do you two train together ever? Or with other people? On the job, or? yeah. Uh, well, like, we're some, we're there, <laughs> we're, Sorry, we're, there, uh, right. we're there, like, at the same time, quite often, like, we'll, we'll try and go at club time, because your group yeah. usually goes at club time, yeah. and I try and go at club time, because, uh-huh. um, like, I'm on my own, so it's great, you know, even having people, not, if we're not yeah. necessarily running together, it's, yeah. it's like, yeah. so you have your own, different sections, following a different yeah, plan, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, but even being there, it's, we're quite often there at the same time, yeah. and it's just mm-hmm. good to have folk about you, because yeah. it keeps you going, you know, I'd rather being there and get your shout yeah. out, but yeah, there's been um, times where, like, leading up to competitions, like, just practice, and go blocks and things, we've been, jumping into the other yeah, things, it's good, mm-hmm. it's been quite funny, um, but yeah, it's, no, it's, it's good, like, when, you have somebody next well, yeah. with each other to kind of build that mm-hmm. hold that dog in. Yeah. <laughs> like, so are you a little com- competitive with <laughs> yeah. each other as well? <laughs> I, I, I know. And past yeah. sisters as well. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's funny. No, it's love. Just keep each other going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's, and it's nice to have that in common as well. Yeah. yeah. And at such yeah. a high level as well that you're both kind of running at. Yeah. So. I mean, we both help each other out as much as we can do. Mm-hmm. It's, it's definitely very, yeah. very lucky to have We've not actually together. competed against each other. Yeah. No, yet. No. Um, <laughs> oh, no, that's a lie. We had 100 together this year. We had one. Oh, yeah. 100 meters. Oh, that but, was uh, embarrassing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask who won that. 
can all be as bad. That's not, often, <laughs> no. that's not often we do get to run against each other because uh, you yeah, know you're yeah, a more a 400 meter runner and I'm shorter and better. So uh, right, yeah, uh, well, we'll get a four in there yet. Mm -hmm. I know a 400 would be quite uh, an interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, an interesting. Do either of you you don't do I anything think. above a 400? Well, I used to do eight, right, right enough, yeah, but no, I, I think well, I would have had the decision maker for me with my last junior mm -hmm. county because mm -hmm. I, I was hopefully going to be um, all being well I was hoping to run the 8 and 4 again and kind of see because I enjoyed it so much at the games mm -hmm. um, but yeah I didn't get to be my last junior county so that yeah. was I, I just had to decide right which one do I really like enjoy yeah. I think okay. for me mm -hmm. at the start of 400 meter I just felt like I was in me so and then yeah, yeah just knew what I was sense. doing yeah before I eight hundred I was <laughs> not in my, like you know I yeah. was not in my comfort you were, zone yeah. you were really good at it but it was more the as you say you got on the start line for a four hundred and you you know you were looking forward to it and yeah. you know you were good at it and then mm -hmm. an eight hundred you would you know work yourself up a lot oh but, it's and, and it's it's it's, uh, it's a long way when you're sprinting yeah <laughs> it's yeah it's you can't afford to mess up, although you do have that time to think. But then, uh -huh. yeah, it's just yeah. Yeah, but no, um, it's mm -hmm. definitely I think the right decision for me. Um, focusing on the four hundred because mm -hmm. uh, it's just I just get such a buzz out of it, and I think that if, if that's what um if that's what you get from it, I think that's oh that's yeah, well, you gotta enjoy it. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. It's well, all the yeah. effort gets too hard. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, training. Because I enjoyed the under training. Like you know, I, right, I, I yeah. think it wasn't really. I mean, I think I prefer the four hundred more, mm -hmm. but it has been more of a it has been a challenge to convert it because just like changing the years, kind of if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Just getting the legs turned over quicker and um yeah, it's definitely like I found like for instance like at the end of sprinting like a realised too intense it is on your lungs but yeah of, like you know it's, it's, it's just tiredness. it's just a yeah. completely different tiredness so yeah yeah it's definitely when she did 800s and I did hundreds and things you used to be I'm like oh that's easy you know, <laughs> like, very far though and it's <laughs> yeah. And, and like yeah but yeah. still tired yeah. Yeah. and like oh, now sure. she's doing similar kind of training yeah. she's like okay no, I get it yeah. I get it yeah. 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 that's for sure it's a different kind of thing yeah I would imagine yeah yeah it's just it's funny I mean, I think I would rather run a marathon than a fast 5K because you're not, <laughs> you're not having to fast 5K, you know, yeah. it's painful even though yeah. it's quicker. Yeah, that's um, it. just depends on, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just completely different, but the same at the same time, it's mm -hmm. all the hard work. It is, yeah. it's yeah. all hard work, it's just different, it's really, yeah, it's yeah, different. Yeah, it's just yeah. different, your body's doing different, different mm -hmm. things, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are you still involved at the the local club much, the athletics club? Yeah, try to do as much as we can. Yeah, um, yeah. We, yeah, as I say, we try and train on club nights. Um, well, your group train, trains on club nights, as I said earlier. Yeah, and yeah. I try and go depending on my shifts for work. Mm -hmm. um, I try and go, go at club time too, just as I say, for the company, you know, yes, to be around yeah. people. Um, Sometimes I can't manage either. You do work too, so I have to go. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just the way of it. But mm -hmm. just... So it's, but yeah, I would try and go as much as possible because um, yeah, it's good. You know, it's good to see yeah, everybody, yeah. and it's good to yeah. who's coming up and yeah. who will yeah. be trying to go for yeah. uh, all our like all the records and things in the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 okay. Because yeah. yeah. that's it. Yeah. There's always younger it's ones coming exciting. up. It's yeah. brilliant. It's, it's so brilliant. nice seeing younger ones coming through and mm -hmm. um, keeps it definitely keeps you motivated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's all the other tales and no yeah. 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 yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, we still need to secure our spots for the next I few know, games. that's the thing. And they're all going to be aged for it. <laughs> I know, like, oh, that's the thing. Yeah. You, you still need to keep working hard for yeah. keep our spots, you know, yeah. that's it. But it's fantastic, and I think, you know, by the time our Coney Island Games comes here in 2025, we're going to have a fantastic squad. Yeah, um, it's, it's actually pretty exciting. exciting. Mm -hmm. um, the two year delay, yeah, it's obviously a bit gutting because everybody's looking forward to yeah. it. But I actually think it's going to do our I think it's, team, yeah. it's going to probably benefit it. Knew there's going to be folk that wasn't aged for it, so right. are going to be aged. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think it's only a positive. I thing think it's a blessing in disguise, really. Um, I think it'll be kind of noticed once it does come, yeah, in 2025 instead of 2023. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's good because you know, at home games, it's not going to happen, you know, very often. So, um, no. I feel like a good, 
15 then yeah. to as big a team as we can that we yeah. can dance out. Yeah. 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 That'll be really yeah. exciting yeah. around or yeah. 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 That'll be good. Yeah. I actually, well, I do, I coach uh, the PD ones before I train on a Tuesday night too. Oh, okay. So that it's a proper holiday for me. But yeah. Um, it's fantastic to see too. You know, it'll not be long until they're, you know, starting. Mm-hmm. Well, I know some of them go into other sports, which is really good to see. But it'll be really exciting to see them progress and yeah, yeah. So it'll be the future. Yeah. Just yeah. Looking into the future. Know, really. well, it's, yeah. So yeah, but no, it's it's really good. It's it motivates you before you train too. You know, mm-hmm. thinking yeah. right, they're looking up. Yeah. So well, they will. Yeah, yeah. 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 But no, it's no, really, it's good fun and yeah, just trying to make it as enjoyable as possible for them. And, yeah. 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 Well, that's that. Some people ask us, like, oh, you're nuts. Like, why do you do it? And it's like, oh, we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, exactly. You, get, you get a buzz you do it. And Absolutely. once you've finished a session, I'll go halfway through. Sometimes you think, why what am I do doing? It? Why <laughs> yeah. am I here? Yeah, and sometimes you really <laughs> think, mm-hmm. yeah, what, what the heck what? am I doing? Yeah. yeah. And some days you feel terrible and other days you feel great. And yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know necessarily yeah. why, but, yeah. I'm looking outside this noon. It's... Yeah, it's yeah, then. Oh, oh, I know. It's, I know. It's just like, yeah, that's it. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's warm today, but it's wet. Yeah, <laughs> I don't it. mind if it's raining, but when it's windy, it's, it's when yeah. the wind's really strong. You're back in the wind. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Spewy, spewy sometimes. <laughs> I suppose these are the sessions that uh, you remember more than the yeah. other ones where you're drenched or yeah. the harder ones. Yeah. I know that's it exactly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, feel good then when you're home and. Yeah. You're showered, cozied up again, you're like, yeah. It makes you, know, it you feel good yeah. after. Yeah. It makes Definitely. it good though too when you go away and you're like you're competing and even just a warmer kinda heat even even for, well it's not really that much warmer, like the legs and the legs, but it's far more humid than uh-huh, the north yeah. and it just makes you like it makes the trips away worth while. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. more enjoyable. Well, that's it. And so, yeah. You know, if you know you've put the hard work into the winter and you know in all your sessions you Oh know, definitely. You've got no regrets then, yeah. you know, even if things don't yeah. go your way, you know you've got no regrets yeah. if you put the work in. That's well, exactly. Thing. No yeah. regrets and you've yeah. done everything you can do and yeah. you feel confident you've done it. And yeah. 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 Brilliant. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, unless you have anything else you'd like to add, but it was really nice speaking to you both and just getting some insight into your training and competing. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's lovely, yeah, yeah, but no, if any, uh, if there's any, like, adults that want to start athletics, like, please, you know, don't think it's just, the club's just for younger mm. ones oh definitely uh, you yeah. can start at any time mm. and uh, you know it'd be good to see more senior athletes yeah. if we've got a, you yeah. know are we uh, well yeah. then it's recently though yeah. aren't we the, well, the running clubs merged with athletics yeah. club, haven't they so yeah. it kind of covers all ranges of distances yeah. and, that's and and that's exactly. as well which is really yeah. nice any, but any age and anybody yeah. with whatever their background definitely it's they yeah. come and give it a go yeah. you fancy it yeah, <laughs> yeah. indeed <laughs> definitely yeah. oh yeah. that's awesome yeah yeah Thank you very much. And we'll see you again soon. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you very much.